who Hannibal maybe whatever equal is kind of speaks to her in that way at some points. What what does kind of Bedelia's place in all of this mean to you? And how was it to kind of play this character who is incredibly in the gray area of of the any two sides of good and evil or good and bad that we kind of know? I haven't a clue. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, I would come, I would drop in, I would helicopter in and open my mouth and try and make sense of this ludicrous dialogue that just, I, I can't, I'm <laughs> in one way, you know, that if I just twist it a little bit this way, a little bit that way, it might make a little bit of sense. And I'm not sure if I ever entirely understood what it was that I was actually saying. And I also think that because her trajectory changed mm. so much, you know, from, from episode to episode in terms of, you know, that, it, that I think at one point I found a good way to play it that it could go one way or the other, depending on which eye you were looking at it with. Like, you know. Uh. <laughs> it's enough of a gray area that you could read it one way or another and still think that you knew what she was saying or what she meant by it or, you know, and I, I honestly, that, that anybody thought my shit is just a miracle <laughs> because um, it was all, you know. But I, I remember reading something that Brian said at one point. Who is it that you said in some interview about that one of the funnest experiences you had was trying to make as much nonsense in a paragraph and trying to watch me figure out how to fucking make sense of it. And I thought, are you fucking kidding me? I'm glad I didn't take it any more seriously. Could you imagine me like, you know, the entire plane ride, I'm like, oh, what does this mean? But he said this to me. I would have gone mad. <laughs> I think you're right, Brian, the smartest person in the room. I have to say was <laughs> that day playing David Bowie. Do you remember that day? Oh, my God, in the back of that. Am I allowed to swear? <laughs> Too late now, Gillian. <laughs> uh, 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 you can swear. Play, that ship, that whatever with the thing and that two hours to shoot. And they that was a different me. show, Gillian. That <laughs> was a different <laughs> show. <God. laughs> oh, God, that was American good. <laughs> However, <laughs> yeah. However, whoever oh, David Bowie does need however, to make an appearance in season four. So, are you saying it was? It was, it was well. exactly the same as on American Gods. He's gone. That's the quote. He's gone. Goodbye, Julian. Remember, <laughs> David, you've got an hour to shoot the entire scene, and then oh, Julian gets back on the plane. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. On a Sunday, usually. Oh, that was a good mic drop. Yeah, yeah that was perfect. <laughs> that was, that, there were so many times where I didn't know how Jillian did it because she would be leaving. She would be rapping in Chicago at 4 a.m. and getting on an 8 a.m. meeting or plane and arriving in Toronto at 9 to get to the stage by 10 to get into makeup to be on stage filming by 11 and that level of needle threading it was was amazing well, we were so lucky production. Production. no it was i mean i wouldn't have been able to do oh. did you mute i think yeah, you're Julian, i think we didn't muted oh no, i'm not i'm not no. there the smartest person in the room she just muted <laughs> <laughs> I'm swearing um, after I mentioned American God. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. No, I, I was just saying that it was product. I mean, the only way that made it work was was production being able to to fit it in because my schedule was crazy, and and you so could have easily you know killed her off, at, at, and uh, and spent a lot less money. <laughs> 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 And uh, so I'm very grateful that, that you didn't. Martha, as, if, as if we needed any more evidence that Gillian could shift seamlessly between shows. <laughs> <laughs> ah.
One of my favorite kind of. I just remember 30 oysters in one sitting. Oh my goodness, you ate so many oysters that one. Oh my goodness. You were like the oyster champion. Was that in Florence? Yes. Actually in Toronto, you're muting. Cool you're muting a little. Uh, uh, your, your microphone might be on. Or, it uh, might be covered, I think. Yeah. No, I just have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> you now we can hear you. Yeah. Well, no, you can. No, I was just saying, wasn't that in Toronto for Florence? Uh, that was. It was in Toronto. We shot it, and they were. They were. We had an oyster guy come in and chuck them for you fresh. He was so excited. He would have. Been, Grace would Jones chucks her own oysters. FYI, that's the same. Katie, I know you've got to go. So I do. Thank, thank you guys so much. It was thank so you. nice. Take to care of your dog. Bye. And talk Wonderful. to everybody. Love you guys. Thank you much. Bye. 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 Um, jumping right off that, Brian, because I think you put it so wonderfully. Um, a username.